water the unique substance required for the survival of life let's look at some of its physical properties pure water is colorless it is odorless and tasteless now when i say that it is tasteless you must have experienced a difference in taste of the normal drinking water and if you take water which is boiled now pure water that is when you boil water it becomes pure water and the taste of this boiled water is tasteless that is it has no taste to it this is because the normal drinking water that we take it has some when you boil water you see that some white residue remains so the normal drinking water that we take it has some minerals and gases dissolved to it these minerals and dissolved gases give the slight taste to water that we experience so normal drinking water has some slight taste to it but when we talk of pure water pure water is tasteless the freezing point of water is 0 degree celsius this is the temperature at which the liquid form of water changes into the solid form that is ice the boiling point is the temperature at which the liquid state changes into the gaseous state the boiling point of water is 100 degree celsius this is the temperature at which water changes into steam now for any substance when the liquid state is changed into the solid state how do we bring about this change we cool the liquid state that is we extract heat from the liquid state when we extract heat from the liquid state the temperature decreases the kinetic energy of the particles decreases and so the speed of the particles decreases hence the particles come closer to each other and the interparticle spaces between the particles decreases and so the liquid state changes into the solid state now for the same substance the liquid state has a greater volume and the solid state has a lesser volume this is because as the particles come closer to each other the volume decreases now you know that density is defined as mass per unit volume now if we take the same mass so what do we get if the volume increases the density will decrease we keep the mass constant so for the same mass if the volume increases the density decreases or in other terms we can say as the density decreases the volume will increase now similarly we can talk of the vice versa case that is as the volume decreases now if the volume decreases for the same mass the density will increase and also we can state this as as the density increases the volume will decrease so we see that they are reciprocal terms density and volume as one quantity increases the other decreases so now for the same substance the liquid state has a greater volume so the liquid state will have lesser density as compared to the solid state so for one substance the liquid state of that substance will have a lesser density as compared to the solid state of the same substance in physics you must have studied that substances having lower density they float on the substances having higher density now for the same substance the liquid state as we had just seen the liquid state has lesser density as compared to the solid state so ice is the solid form of water if ice is the solid form of water it should have greater density as compared to water so ice should sink in water but what we observe is that ice floats on water so why does ice float on water let's try to answer this water has a unique property this is how the density of water varies so let's say that we first cool water from 10 degree celsius to 4 degree celsius so like all liquids the density increases as the density increases the volume decreases so water contracts so at 4 degree celsius the density of water is maximum 
that is 1000 kg per meter cube so at 4 degree celsius it has the maximum density so it has the minimum volume so from any greater temperature when we bring it to 4 degree celsius it shows the normal normal behavior as the other liquids do but after 4 degree celsius if we further cool it from 4 degree celsius to 0 degree celsius we observe that water shows a unique behavior the density further decreases as the density decreases at 0 degree celsius there is formation of ice so ice has lesser density as compared to water and greater volume as compared to water so we observe that the density of ice is lesser as compared to that of water and this is the reason why ice floats on water and this unique property of water enables marine life to survive in colder regions since it shows this behavior of density water is said to exhibit anomalous expansion anomalous means unusual or abnormal so unlike other liquids the density variation of water is different so it first shows a greater density from 10 degree celsius or from a greater temperature if we cool it to 4 degree celsius it shows the normal behavior but after 4 degree celsius if we further cool it it shows an abnormal behavior it shows a further abnormal expansion and this is what is known as anomalous expansion of water and this enables marine life to survive in colder regions so even if there is formation of ice that is at 0 degree celsius ice formation takes place since ice has lesser density as compared to water so ice floats on water and water at 4 degree celsius water has the maximum density so it sinks at the bottom so we have water formation that is water is there at the bottom and even if the temperature is further cooled so as the temperature is cooled at 0 degree celsius ice formation takes place ice having lesser density as compared to water floats on water so even if there is ice formation there is water at the bottom and this enables marine life to survive in colder regions so what is happening here when water is cooled say from any temperature say from 6 degree celsius to 4 degree celsius it first contracts like the other liquids do at 4 degree celsius the density of water is maximum when we further cool it the density decreases as the density decreases the volume increases and it continues to do so till the temperature reaches 0 degree celsius and this is the temperature at which ice, ice formation takes place so the density of ice is lesser as compared to water it floats on water and this is what enables marine life to survive in colder regions so let's see how anomalous expansion of water helps marine life to survive so even if there is formation of ice on the top there is water beneath so this helps the fishes to survive even in colder regions the density of water is maximum at 4 degree celsius that is 1000 kg per meter cube so if we take two blocks of equal dimensions that is 1 meter cube in order to balance the the block completely filled with water we need a mass of 1000 kg so the density of water is 1000 kg per meter cube the density of water is maximum at 4 degree celsius which is 1000 kg per meter cube or 1 gram per centimeter cube since the density is maximum at this temperature it has the minimum volume at 4 degree celsius the property of water that enables marine life to survive in colder regions what is that property we know that water shows a unique property when it when it is cooled further beyond 4 degree celsius it starts showing decrease in density 
as the density decreases, the volume increases. So ice has a lesser density as compared to water and this property of water is known as anomalous expansion of water. So the property of water that enables marine life to survive in colder regions is the anomalous expansion of water.